Hello everybody, Megan Fowler here. Welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, go ahead and make yourself at home or better yet, if you are getting ready for your day right now, doing your makeup, like literally whatever, just set the phone down and just listen, okay? Because I'm about to tell you a story time about the that goes on in my life, okay? All right, let's just get right into it. Basically, me and my sister did the worst thing somebody could possibly do in their own home last weekend, which was throw a house party, okay? We threw a house party. It wasn't supposed to be a, oh, come get up and party type thing, no. It was just like, just something fun we were trying to do. It was invite only, like, if you don't have the address from us, you can't come type thing. It never ends up like that. You know, you'd think I would have known from all of the parties I've been to throughout my life where, um, not go how the person thought, but no, no. We threw a party. But as I said, it was just supposed to be a chill, fun night with a group of people that we know and love. You know. So we're gonna fast forward into the party has already started. I think it's maybe, mm, I don't know, 10, 11 o'clock or something. And these two girls show up. I had never met them before. They're my sister's friends, or one of them was my sister's friend. One of them, I guess, was just the DD or something that she brought along with her. But anyway, um, yeah, so these two girls come in and I greet them and remember this part of the story because this is just so funny and ironic to me. But remember this, so when I first meet these girls, they're like, Hey, do you have anywhere that we can put our purses so that no one steals them or takes them? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, of course, like come up to my room. I'll show you where you can put it and just let me know. Like if you guys need it again, you guys can come up and get it. And they were like, okay, yeah, thank you. And so I let them put their purses in my room. We went back downstairs and we were all just having fun and hanging out. And as I said, this wasn't like a drinking party because it wasn't 21 and over, obviously. So we told them, we kept telling everyone like no alcohol in the house, if we see it, we're like taking it because we're trying to respect my parents' house because we're throwing this party in their house, obviously. But of course, you know that these kids are going out to their car with their friends and chugging their freaking vodka bottles that their older brother bought them. There was drinking going on and then people were coming into the house. Okay, so that was happening and at one point, one of the girls, one of the two girls that I was talking about that I put their purses in my room, she started getting like, I could tell that she was definitely probably drinking that night, like obviously. So I am sober, like I'm not drinking or anything because I, and I'm 21, it's legal, but I'm not drinking or anything because I'm like, you know, I'm throwing a party in my house. I'm basically like security. I'm running around the house the whole entire time just making sure everything is good. No one's breaking anything. No one's spilling things. At one point I was running around and I was like, oh, I'm really gonna freaking pee. So I run upstairs to my bedroom. Also, let me say real quick, I was keeping a very good eye on like the stairs and bedrooms and stuff. No one was allowed upstairs and I was going and checking to make sure no one was literally like every few minutes, nobody was going upstairs. I go into my bedroom and my bathroom door is basically closed and I go to open it and I hit something and I'm like, what the heck? I peek my head in and one of the girls that showed up, the one I told you had like, you know, she, she had been drinking. She was laying on my bathroom floor, kind of just like passed out. She had told me she didn't really feel well like 20 minutes beforehand. But I was like, oh, like you poor thing. I really, I really like this girl. I really like both these girls actually. Like we were, we were hitting it off and hanging out most of the night. That's actually the people I really actually hung out with at all that night. She's on the bathroom floor and like a couple seconds after I find her, her friend comes up into the room and she seems kind of startled when she sees me. She like opens my door and comes in. She's like, oh, and I'm like, hey, like she's passed out on the floor. Do you want to help me pull her out? I'm going to make her a bed on my floor. And her friend was like, oh yeah, thank you so much. Like, yeah, let's get it. So we pull her out and we get her all situated, you know? And her friend, before I was leaving, her friend was like, Hey, would you mind if I stayed up here with her for a few minutes? I just wanna make sure she's okay and we're about to leave soon anyway, since she's, you know, done for the night. And I, and I was like, yeah, 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 like no worries. Let me know if you need help walking her out to the car or anything. I was literally so nice and helpful to these girls. So I leave them in the room and I go downstairs and I'm just, you know, keeping everything together downstairs. That's a whole other story time. Literally <laughs> happened at the party, not even involving the story I'm telling right now. Like, <sighs> it's a whole nother story time. So I leave them in the room and the party goes on, whatever. 
they end up leaving. I don't even know when they left. I did see the sober girl going in and out of the house like a couple times. So I figured, okay, yeah, that's what she's doing. Probably getting her friend. So we're done cleaning and, and I go to wind down for the night. You know, I'm about to go do my skincare, wash my face, get all pampered before I go pass out. And let me, I, I think it's about 3 a.m. I'm gonna say right now. It's like 3 a.m. So I go into my bathroom. I start washing my face. And after I wash my makeup off, I go to start doing my skincare routine. And I realize my moisturizer is missing. You know, not just my moisturizer, my 60 dollar moisturizer that I had just gotten a couple weeks ago, okay? And then I'm like, wait a second. And I start looking around and I open my medicine cabinet. And right away I notice that a bunch of my expensive Lush products like face masks and stuff are all missing. And I go look at my makeup bag, shit ton of makeup missing. I walk into my room and I look over and I see my jewelry box about this much open because a little earring was sticking out the side of it. I go over and sure enough, there is jewelry missing. And you know what? Right then and there, my heart dropped because I thought this, thought this little number was missing. If this little guy was missing, um, probably wouldn't be making this YouTube video, probably would be on trial for <laughs> murdering somebody actually. So it was right then and there that I realized I had been robbed. <laughs> Someone went through my entire room. Okay, let me say that I started going everywhere. I could tell somebody went through literally every crevice of my room that they could, okay? You know how violated I felt? I can't even explain it. Like when I started realizing all my shit was gone, whoo, and my moisturizer, <laughs> you got me fucked up. And I'm like, dang, who could have done this? There was a lot of people here. And I'm just thinking in my head and I'm like, Wait a second, it's gotta be that girl that I was hanging out with all night, the one that was staying in the room with her friend passed out because like, I know her friend wasn't doing it because her friend, was, her friend was tapped out, okay? Believe me when I say that. But this other girl that stayed in the room with her and was like making rounds in and out of my house, you know, that started clicking in my head a little bit and I'm like, hmm, hmm okay, okay. I really didn't wanna believe that she did it, but after I really sat there and was like, dude, you were watching the stairs. You didn't let anybody else in your room. You didn't let anybody else put anything in your room besides those two girls. Like, it's her, it's her. And so I'm sitting there and I'm just thinking, I'm like, wow, okay, I know who robbed me. I know exactly who did it, but they're not gonna admit it. Like, I can't just text them and be like, hey, did you happen to like go through my room and steal uh, all my shit? That's not gonna work. Like she's not gonna admit that, you know? So I stayed up till about, I think like five, 5.30 in the morning, just sitting there and like contemplating what I should do because let me tell you, this girl stole hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of skincare, makeup, and jewelry, okay? A lot of it being stuff that like was given to me by my mom as like presents. So I'm just sitting there and I'm like, what do I do? Like, what can I possibly do? And then I think, you know what? The only way somebody can't lie is if they think that you literally have video proof seeing them do it. And so I'm like, hmm, what can I do? Let me tell you what I did, okay? Fast forward to the next day. The story's about to get really, really juicy. So I'm gonna give these girls some names real quick because I forgot to do that. First off, the girl who robbed me, I'm gonna call you Alex because well, because your name's Alex and you don't have any respect for me, so I'm not gonna have any respect for you either. I won't say your last name though, okay? Mainly because I can't pronounce it, but I'm not gonna say your last name, all right, Alex? Okay, and I got a lot of receipts, okay guys? Like, I had to print these out because I'm filming on my phone. I'm a broke bitch and I don't got a camera. I mean, I'm not broke bitch level where I go and like rob people's houses, you know, but... <laughs> And the girl whom I like, I'm going to call her... I'm gonna call her Kayla, okay? So Kayla and Alex. Alex is the thief, remember that. The next day, I texted Kayla and I was just like, hey, basically I have a camera set up in my room just in case anything like went missing that night because I, you know, I know what happens at house parties. And I caught your friend Alex 
basically robbing me you know i told her that and i was like i'm gonna need her number because i'm gonna give her a call because i want my things back and so kayla was like oh my god i'm so sorry like oh my god i bring her in your house i feel so bad we're not even friends anymore we got in a huge fight last night she kicked me out of her car and left me on the side of the street after the party and <gasps> alex you sound like a real piece of work <laughs> and now i am basically gonna be reading some text messages of when i confronted this girl <sighs> You guys just have to listen to the, uh, just, you guys just have to listen to these because this girl is so stupid. So stupid. Hi, this is Megan from the party last night. So, <laughs> fun fact, we have a lot of cameras and I set one up in my room last night in case anything were to happen or go missing. I'm watching you go through my jewelry box, my skincare, my makeup, etc. And so I'm gonna be nice and give you one chance to return my shit. I can meet you somewhere or you can drop it off to if that makes you more comfortable, you know, so she doesn't think she's gonna get jumped or anything. <laughs> I'd never do that. If you choose not to, then I will have no other choice than to get the police involved and press charges for theft. This is really disappointing that I trusted you and tried to help you guys out and this is what I get. If I don't get a response in the next hour, I'll assume you don't care and I will call the police. She started typing very quickly. And let me just tell you, before I sent that text, like right before, um, Kayla told me that she reached out to this Alex girl and Alex basically was like, no, I'd never do that. I did not steal anything blah, 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 until I reached out to her. Her response. <clears throat> Hey, Taylor just told me what happened, and I'm gonna be honest, I was belligerently drunk last night and literally can only remember being in a house and looking for my Novo and wax pen I lost somewhere. Did you think your wax pen was under my sink in my... <laughs> you stupid bitch. I know that's not an excuse at all. If I did take anything, I feel like a idiot. I barely remember even making it home last night though, so I kind of got to put some pieces back together. That's funny because you were the DD and you drove everyone home and they got there safely, but <laughs> that's none of my business. I'm about to be back on my way to Arizona, so my sister is going to go through my car and if she finds anything, she's going to take it to take. And let me just say she's going to Arizona because she's about to go back to college. Yes, this is an adult as well. Then she says, if you are able to, can you send the video? I'm hoping it could help me figure out what the f happened last night. No, Alex, I can't send you the video because there isn't one. I just want my shit back. This is next level. Like, you know that she read my message and was like, oh, she has video, what can I say that, oh, blackout card. I was blacked out, I mean, and then I respond. Girl, I am not dumb, you weren't blacking out. I really don't care for excuses. I just want my things back that I worked my ass off to be able to afford. Two Lush products, highlighters, bronzer, jewelry, moisturizers, and even more. I have a very photographic memory and I know what's missing me you leave tomorrow i expect all of my things back by the end of the day and if anything is missing i will call the police i have all of the evidence i need for a speedy trial so please don't try me honey no i will not be sharing the video it's on a camera and that's evidence for the police if i don't get my things back i'm really an unproblematic person this can either go over smooth or not like it is your choice to which she responds I woke up with a black eye. I honestly don't know what the F happened. Again, I know that's not an excuse, but I don't know you and I'm not trying to hold on to anyone's <laughs> Is that why you made multiple trips out of my house? Because you couldn't fit all my stuff in your stupid little black purse. Oh my God. I leave for Arizona tonight, but my sister will go through my car and take anything over to in the next hour. So I said, all right, I expect all of it because you took quite a bit. But then she said, but it would be really helpful La, la, la. But it would be really helpful if you had like an exact list of everything missing so I can tell her what to look for. Um, so basically, can you send me a list of every single thing I took and anything you're missing? I'm probably just gonna keep because I'm a broke bitch. <laughs> That's what she meant to say, I think. How are you gonna perform a heist <laughs> on somebody's house and then make them give you a list by listing of what you took so you can return it? Are you kidding me, bro? But I was like, LMAO, this should not be my problem. You stole from me. Now you can figure it out and let me know what's up because I know you know what's not yours so you can tell your sister what needs to be brought back. 
Then she said, I'm honestly just trying to make sure you get every single thing back, that's all. I don't want to take any chances of missing anything. Oh, how sweet of you, girl, how sweet. And then having to come back to California to deal with some police charge. Oh, that was to cover her ass. She, she doesn't care if I get my stuff back, actually. It's okay. I had four other girls in the backseat of my car last night and don't know what's what. And since I won't be the one looking for the things my sister will be, I just want to tell her what exactly to look for. Can you believe this is literally me texting the person that robbed my ass last night? Like, and she's really acting like it's a burden because she can't remember everything she took. <sighs> I hope your mother sees this. And then I think she realized that she's being a little too nitpicky. And then she just said, you know what? I'll just tell her to look for everything that looks like skincare or makeup and put it in a plastic bag. She'll take it to Kayla's at 10.30, 11. I responded, well, I appreciate that, but you know what's yours and what's not. You know, I want my highlighters, my bronzer, any other makeup you took, cause my bag is looking quite empty. Um, I want my use to the people moisturizer. I would like my lush cleansers and masks. Uh, and jewelry that was taken from my jewelry box, of course, and anything else taken. I don't have a specific list for you, nor should I have to come up with one. You have all day to go to your car and figure it out. You can even FaceTime me and I'll tell you exactly what's mine and what's not. I'm so sweet. I'm such a nice person. Like the fact that I offered that. Then she said, I can't go through the car myself. I won't be here. But like I said, I'll just tell her to grab whatever looks like makeup. I'll text you when she tells me she found it and when she drops it off. And then she denied, um, my FaceTime request, I'm not sure why. That would have made it really easy, but she didn't want to do it for some reason. Um, I don't know. And then I just said, all right, well, you better pray to God that she brings it all. That's all I got to say. You can even give me your sister's number and I'll FaceTime her instead while she's at the car. And then like, I just want to throw in another scare factor because why not, I'm on a roll. And so I said, Kayla actually told me where you live as well. So I can even meet your sister there. Let me know, exclamation point. <laughs> Then when I mentioned that, she got real freaked out and started telling me, no, 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 I don't live there. Um, I don't want to get people involved in the house. It's not their thing to deal with. It's my stupid mistake. Blah, blah, blah. And then I said, okay, fair enough. I can respect that. Or you know that she's sending these texts and she's like, it sounds so dumb. I can't, I can't just turn back now. Like, you know that she's texting me these things knowing damn well that I'm probably like this idiot. Like, does she really think I... I just wonder if she really thinks I believe her. If you're watching this, I don't, you're lying. But I said, all right, just had to ask and make sure. I really hope for your sake, all my stuff is there. My parents have seen the video as well and we have an attorney ready to call. I hope you learned a lesson from this and never do it to anybody again. Okay, maybe I'm being a little extra at this point, but I'm making sure I get my shit back. You know what? Do you know what you do not mess with, okay? You can do whatever you want, like take whatever you want, but you do not mess with my skincare you do not take my moisturizer okay because now i'm coming for your neck to that she said yeah like i said i really don't remember a lot mix my medication with alcohol and it didn't end up well but that's a whole personal thing and obviously not an excuse i would like to know what type of medication can literally make you forget meticulously going through somebody's room and all of their things and stealing a bunch of their shit and like making rounds in and out of the house to do it. What kind of medication makes you forget all of that? And then be able to drive home like nothing happened because they have a lawsuit on their hands. Oh, this is the part. Okay, she said, and do you think you could send me the video after you get your stuff? I'm not doubting you. I really just want to know 100% that I did it. Let me just read that to you again, okay? Um, do you think you could send me the video after you get your stuff? I'm not doubting you. I just really want to know 100% that I was the one that took those and put them in my car and not somebody else. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Alex. I'm really trying with you here, girl. I'm really trying. So that is the end of my receipts. Um, after that, we 
said a couple more things and then she told me my stuff was over at Kayla's house. So my dad drove me over and we went and got it, talked to Kayla, talked to her family who was there. They were super sweet about it. They felt so bad, even though it literally wasn't their fault at all. I mean, I can understand Kayla feeling bad for bringing her in the house, but she obviously had no idea that this girl was this type of person. Like this girl even lied to her when confronted being like, you know, I'd never do that. Like <laughs> went and got all my things. When I went through the bag, everything that I knew was missing was in there, except for one thing, which is like a $30 highlighter that I just got. My favorite one too, you stupid <laughs> Everything was there, even a couple things that I didn't even realize were missing were there. Um, she gave me a whole ass like new hair mask that wasn't even mine. I guess she probably steals from people all the time and was a little bit confused about what was mine. So I got a free hair mask out of it, which is cool. And then I texted her and I was like, hey, like, there's a highlighter missing either like you're gonna pay me back right now or I'm gonna go drive to your house and ask to get in your car and get it like your choice and she then asked me for my Venmo and then she Venmoed me $30 um, moral of the story is basically just don't be a piece of like Alex girl I really hope you learned a lesson from this and I really hope you don't do it to anybody ever again um it was absolutely an awful feeling realizing that somebody went through all of my things somebody that i trusted too like that was the main thing like remember when i told you to remember the first thing this girl said to me was can i please put my things in your room so no one steals them and then she stole all of my things like it just it, it just honestly blows my mind and the fact that i was helping her with her friend like her friend like kayla's an angel love that girl but like the fact that I was just helping all night and that's what I get, it just, it's just mind-blowing to me. But you know what? That's why you don't just trust random people. That is also my bad. But at the end of the day, like, I really hope she did learn a lesson. The funniest part about this video is that this girl, like, if she's watching this, this is, like, she's finding out right now that there's no video. Like, she still thinks that I have video of her stealing all my things. Uh, no, honey. <laughs> I bamboozled you. So good. Gotcha. Also got all my things back. I honestly just felt so badass after pulling that off because the night before like I was like dude you don't know if this girl 100% did it like don't text her saying that like that could be a little bit like all this was going through my head and then I was like you know what if you're gonna do it you're gonna do it and you're gonna go hard you're gonna go hard on a hoe and she's gonna crack <laughs> Okay, anyway, I need to get off of here. I need to go pick up my parents. But love you guys. Hope you enjoyed the story time. If you like the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content. And make sure to let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a part two, two to this. Because like I said, a bunch of crazy stuff went down at the party. And in this other video, I'll have my sister sit down so we can both tell you because, girl, it's a lot. Well, I love you guys, and I hope you have a fantastic day, and I hope you don't get robbed. Love you. Bye.